We're in Caesarea, a city that was built between 22 BC and 12 BC by Herod the Great, who came into power in Israel in 37 BC. He wanted to replicate a Roman city and also set up a port for commerce. Hence, he chose this seaside location. What you'll see here are some incredible Roman ruins that span an amphitheater, a theater, a hippodrome, as well as a palace and a pagan temple. Herod named the city Caesarea after his patron, Caesar Augustus, who appeared publicly in 12 BC at the city's boisterous grand opening celebration. Herod recreated a Roman city full of temples, markets, roads, baths, and more, many of which stood for centuries. The building stood when Caesarea flourished in the third century under Byzantine rule. When it was conquered by Crusaders in the 11th century, it continued to flourish. It even flourished when Francis Louis IX fortified the city with walls and a moat, as well as when Caesarea was eventually lost to the Malmuk armies in the 13th century. The buildings couldn't stand forever, but today the city is a reminder of what once was, and it is impressive nonetheless. At the edge of the palace, they chose this spot to put in a pool. Now that rectangle you see over here, right here, this rectangle, this rectangle was their pool. And there wasn't all that sand in it. It was actually dug out at the time. Obviously sand over time has filled it in. But imagine a wall around it. Imagine them letting the water come into the pool. And also imagine rooms around the pool where you could relax and enjoy the sea breeze and a nice swim. of Caesarea tired with their beachside pool, they would entertain themselves and the Caesarean people by hosting theatrical productions, sporting events, and gladiator games. Imagine ancient times. You're here in the Hippodrome. All sorts of events take place. Gladiators in mortal combat, hunting, action sports, horse racing, and chariot racing. Imagine thousands of people coming in to watch. Some of them inebriated, they've been out drinking, and they're here for the excitement, and in many cases, the blood. Now look at this track. As you come down to the end, imagine chariot racing, and imagine the highest priced tickets right here at each end of the oval. Why were those the highest priced tickets? Because as the chariots would race down, they'd have to make this tight turn. And in many cases, the chariot would flip over. Now, if the fall didn't kill the driver, the next chariot behind quite possibly would because those chariots were outfitted with different metal and things jutting out with that exact intent. And imagine as somebody falls and the blood pours, the crowd goes wild. That was life here in the Hippodrome. Today, Caesarea operates mostly as a museum and education center, but it is more than just an academic day abroad. Scenic views make nice bars and restaurants in Caesarea especially attractive, and the city hosts concerts and shows at the preserved and refurbished Roman Theater.